Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will be looking traditional versus big data business approach at a glance. So firstly, we will see the traditional approach. So it follows a structured data format. Now, as you know that few years back, data was hardly generating in bulk and therefore it was easy to maintain the structured format of the data that is generated. Also, this approach was followed by every small or big organization and in this particular approach, a centralized database architecture was used. In this particular architecture, the entire storage and processing was done at a single place. Now, since the traditional approach followed a structured format, SQL language was used for performing data operations easily. Now, that was the traditional approach. So, let's have a look at the big data approach. So, this is obviously an extended version of the traditional approach. A lot of things are present inside the big data approach which were there in the traditional approach. So, this big data approach was designed specifically for dealing with complex data. Now, this complex data can contain structured, unstructured or semi-structured data which we have discussed earlier in detail. Now, since this big data approach deals with all these types of data, therefore it will follow a distributed kind of approach for storage as well as processing of the data that is present inside the database. So, in the upcoming videos, we will have a detailed look of how this storage and processing in this distributed format is done in big data approach. So, now we will see the exact difference between these two approaches and if you are appearing for university exams then you can surely write this particular points for scoring full marks. So the first parameter for distinguishing between these two approaches is volume. So in traditional approach as I said there was less generation of data comparatively to the big data approach hence data was generated in gigabytes to terabytes and in big data approach it is generating from petabytes to zettabytes and even more than that. The second parameter is the architecture. In the traditional approach the architecture is centralized that means the entire storage and processing will be done at a single place. Next in the big data approach the architecture is distributed. At distributed local machines the data will be separately processed. The next parameter to distinguish is the data integration. So, in the traditional approach, integrating data was not a big task. It was easy because mostly the data was in the structured format. So, joining them was not a big deal. And if you talk about the big data approach, it's really difficult to integrate data because the data can be in different types, also in different formats. The next parameter is the system configuration requirement. So, when we talk about the traditional data approach, then the system configuration requirement is normal because the data is less, processing is less. Therefore, high system configuration was not required. But in the big data approach, system configuration has to be high because here we are dealing with all the types of data. The next parameter is the data generation rate. Traditionally, the data was not getting generated in more amount. Hence, the data generation rate was hardly per hour. But in the big data approach, the data generation rate is in seconds. As you know, in the previous videos, we have discussed different real life examples of generation of big data. Now, the next parameter is the function requirements. So, traditional data approach requires normal functional requirements and big data approach requires a very large functional requirements because robust and complex algorithms are needed to process huge amount of data and therefore it requires very large functional requirements. Now the next parameter is the schema. So for the traditional business approach, it follows a strict and static schema because the data is mostly in structured format. Therefore, the schema is straightforward. Next, in big data approach, the schema is flat and it is dynamic because the data can be in any format, structured, unstructured or semi-structured. So as per that, the schema also changes. Next parameter is the interrelationship among the attributes. So in traditional approach, there is a static interrelationship because the data is structured and in big data approach, the interrelationship is unknown because there might be a case that it can have unstructured data in which there is no entity relationship defined. 
and for defining the interrelationship between the entities a lot of processing has to be done on it the next parameter is the data generation level so in the traditional business approach data is generated at enterprise level and in big data approach data is generated at enterprise level or it can be more than that the next parameter is the tools requirements so for traditional business approach the tools requirements are very simple and mostly inexpensive but for big data approach special tools are required and the tools can be expensive also because a large amount of data has to be processed parallelly as well as the data can be in any format so therefore special tools are required for it so i hope you have understood both these approaches as well as the major difference between them if you find any more differences between them you can surely post it in the comment section also if you have any doubt you can comment it out and if you like my videos please like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon follow me on instagram thanks for